richer between now and nine o'clock so if you're in the draw please stay tuned we're going to have Greg in, the, in a few minutes time to give us a hand with this good on you Greg uh, Tracy Mullen good luck in your first day at school in Muff from mum and dad and nanny Sue granddad Jerry and Gerard as well and we have happy birthday to Rodney Vogel from Rachel and all the friends and Bally Shannon have a good one and Aaron Carter happy seventh birthday have a great day from all the family and to Cole Toy a great day starting Craig Town National School and from all the toys in Quigley's Point and your big brother Brody going to sing Senior infants, Brody, well done you, boy. Uh, Maggie, Timoney and Glenty's a big happy birthday from all your fans. You have a fan club. And uh, let's see, there's... Uh, uh, I love animals. A white Highland Westie dog wearing a pink collar has been lost in the Glenda... Uh, Glendona area of Manor Corningham it's a much loved pet if you happen to see it let us know <gasps> brace yourself music and fun at breakfast with the naughty alarm clock the naughty alarm clock in association with Fit20 Letterkenny get stronger in just 20 minutes per week visit fit20.ie to book your free session are you building a new home? Building requirements state that you must install a radon barrier. At FF Radon Systems, we supply and professionally install the fully certified barrier. For more information, call Liam at FF Radon Systems on 086 833 2749. Last year, we held the Climate Conversations, capturing the views of over 40,000 members of the public, stakeholders and the community and voluntary sector. We're again inviting people to have their say on how we can play our part in securing our sustainable future. Our online questionnaire is open and the responses will feed into our ongoing climate action plan. Search Climate Conversations 2023 to complete our online survey and to have your say. Brought to you by the Government of Ireland. Why did I choose Ulster? I wanted a university who could give me the biggest possible future, but also the best possible time now. Somewhere I could make friends and have good crack, but also to set me up for the best job possible. I'm planning to take up one of the study abroad options, and then my big plan is to specialise in media law in LA. But for now, NI has one of the lowest student living costs in the UK. So, night markets, here I come. Learn why over 30,000 students choose Ulster at ulster.ac.uk slash go north. Apply now for this September. 15 minutes away from 9 o'clock and Greg Hughes thanks for joining us in the studio Greg you're very yes, good boy. how are you getting on oh, I'm, I'm nervous it's exciting isn't it it is very exciting yeah, it's two and a half grand can you imagine two and a you half you seem nervously I do it's a lot of money I know how are you going to hold back 10 grand just take it on a stride man see that no problem he's like he's, like, <laughs> he's really a duck <laughs> underwater I'll be the same just excited for whoever's going to win honestly all jokes aside I just, it's just uh, great to bring a bit of joy so yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, when you hear all this news about petrol going up, this going up, that How long you second? That's the nine till noon show's business. You stick to ah. secret sounds and have fun. You know, fun. but the, there'll be a time when you move over and I'll move up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> he laughs. Uh, yeah, he'll be laughing. He'll be laughing someday. Right, two and a half grand. Yes. Big Should thing. we get the ticket out now? Yes, because right. I'd love to be able now, to... You always dig deep. I'm not going to do it right, but we always dig deep. Part of me wonders, should we take one off the top? I'll give it a rattle first. Yeah, but I'm not going to take one off the top because you have to dig deep, don't you? All right. God, he's, he's wild. He would ha he can't do nothing straight. God, it's wild noisy, that thing. Let us do that. There's a lot of tickets in that. Hope your ticket's in it. Right. Two and a half grand. Did you give it? Now close your eyes. <laughs> no sneaky peeks. No sneaky... Hands are empty. Everybody. Oh, his hands are empty. I think you have to wash them. Oh, I was gone. <laughs> All right, then. Greg's digging in deep there. Oh, come on. Good luck please to everybody. You, come on. Hope it's you. Send in the positive right, vibes. Okay. All right. Reason, Get to the microphone. Do you need glasses? Oh, sorry, over here. Yeah, good man. Thank you, you very much. You know, 3872. 3872. That is the winning number. Two and a half thousand euro is associated with this number. 3 Eight seven two. Did they get that out there? Yeah, they're busy out there. Three yep. eight seven two. They're on the case. Okay, now hopefully we'll get the winner on Lee. It's your show. <laughs> like hopefully we will. Be nice. But it's not. No one's obliged to come on. Of course. Three eight seven two. Yeah, two and a half. So hour. I'm gonna uh, put that back in now because we've got a good note of it, don't we? Yeah. Yep. Three okay. eight seven. Thirty eight seventy two. Back in. Good on you. That's it. And you go, boy. Right. Give it another old shake there, and I give it a pickle, you know. Mind yourself. That'll do, that'll do. Right, okay. God, you make some racket for one man, don't you? I know, I and know. You, and you'll be busy making a racket at the weekend too? We are going to London tomorrow morning, early flight out of Derry, and we are broadcasting live from the London Vintage Club show on Sunday. Yes. 
at the Triconnell Gales GEA Grand. You're very... Do, 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 I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head. Could you not have took a piece of paper and you says, look, at No, stuff that. All right. uh, and we're going live at 12 and we are going to run till 2. It's across Highland Ready, of course. You can listen on air. We will also be streaming on our website uh, and, and tune in in all the usual uh, areas. And if you want to watch the proceedings yeah. and get a sense of what's going on over there, it's a lovely thing, Lee, in that it is just a complete celebration of Irishness in the heart of London. But it's not only Irish people are there, the wider community come in as well. And, you know, it's just, a, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. But anyway, uh, so we're going to stream the whole show as well live across our YouTube, Facebook channel so people can watch what's going on, watch our guests and... Uh, that type of thing. It's the kind of thing that you watch it from this side. You say, "Oh, I wish it was there." Yes. Well, that's what I want. If I, if that, if that's what you feel, yeah. that means I'm doing a good job, doesn't it? No, that means you should be giving us, taking us with us. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, exactly. You could have took a big crew from the northwest here over. A big busload. But sure, there's a ton of people going over there anyway. All oh, right, okay. And it's not my thing. I want to go nowhere. Let's do a show. I was sent to boy yesterday and I asked you this question uh, because Brendan Tiney is heavily involved with it and we said about the tractor. You guys bought it, uh, you know, the, 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 they're doing the raffle for Chrysler mm-hmm. and the 135 tractor, right? Beautiful tractor. And a man mentioned, Everywhere I go, it's there. Yeah. I'd so love to win it. Our boys would love it. I would love it too. But um, a guy said to me, Oh, I said, so I broadcast live from London. They're doing the draw for the tractor. I think that's later in the year. Yeah, because I asked you that when you... Said, I believe so, but I don't want to... No, I think that's later in the year. Yeah. I think October is is the, the month that's in my head. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be there, but there's a ton of tractors. There was a big pink tractor there a couple of years ago, which was lovely. Uh, but there's... Uh, uh, tra- <laughs> no, it was. It was just a wee bit bizarre. You don't see yeah. them too often. A Barbie tractor. Uh, no, no, it was very, very masculine. Right. Uh, tractors, lorries, uh, old cars... And it's in a big, massive field, and the weather's going to be great. The weather's great here for the weekend and into next week, but it's going to be lovely. Very over good. There too. And you, you're so, off. as I say, you know, it's it, we we the the philosophy of it is is that we do an awful lot of saying, "Oh, the diaspora come back here, the diaspora come back there." But what I've tried to do is sometimes you have to go where people are living now. Mm. You know what I mean? And go over and see what life is like for people from Donegal living over in London or wherever. I'd go wherever if anyone wants to take you to New York. Me to, yes. See if you get to New York. Like, yeah. when you take me? Yes, yes, of course. He hesitated yeah. a wee bit. Mm, well, that was just to see if I could do it logistically, and I agreed I could. All right, okay. Because the time difference, it would work perfectly. I've worked it all out. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, when we went to Dubai to do a show, That's right. which was the best thing I've ever done right. in terms of as I broadcast because it was so far away, I stayed on Irish time and I never that, switched to, to was, local time. Sean's uh-huh. going to join the conversation. What's he coming not, in for? Oh, what's he coming I in for? I don't like it. So we made a mistake. He feels he's missing out on the buzz. I, I'm after winning the money there. <laughs> better not. <laughs> Let me have a look at that. Come you nice and close to that microphone so I hear your dulcet tones. Sean, sales manager at Highland Radio. Nice to have you in the studio. Um, Never been on air with you before, Lee. This is a first. God help you. Brace yourself. Um, you're in here for... Why are you pr- sitting over there? You know how cameras work. Come over here beside me. You told me to come closer. Together. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Share, come closer now to get your lovely... We we have a winner. Right. We have a winner and we were tri- we're just actually chatting to him and he's actually driving a bus at the moment, taking oh, right. some of the kids to school. Ooh, this is very... Oh, this is very exciting. So we were trying to get him on air, but unfortunately, health and safety says he has to get these kids to school first. Right. Far more important than two and what a half thousand. What time are they going to get to? What school are they going to? We didn't get that information there. He you was too ask. busy to talk to us. This is very good because I had a bus driver, right? Uh, started taking my boys to school, right? Garden School. And his, his name's not Tommy by chance, is it? No, it's James O'Donnell. James O'Donnell. So if you're driving the bus, James, and you're listening to us, well James done. James O'Donnell, congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Now, well he actually done. bought the ticket for Annette Corrin. So Annette Corrin is the official winner. But James right. was how good enough to work? buy the ticket for Annette. But how does that work? Like, that is contractually her money now, yeah? It is. Uh, she Excellent. is technically she is the winner. <laughs> right. But but James is the donator. He was very kind wasn't of buying. He was very good, wasn't he? Fair play to him. And he actually did it for, for uh, most of the tickets he bought. He had a couple for himself, so Right, and he put other people's names on. That was He very, did. That was very good, wasn't it? And Annette at the moment is on holidays. Ah So what a prize to come back to from from, from wherever she is in the world, two and a half thousand but euros last, will be hers. That's the first two and a half thousand euro winner just come back off holidays as well. Then go on What's holidays going again. On? Well, I'm going to next year. I'm going to do every draw that's possible when I'm on my holidays. I tell you, you did well to find a bus driver that wasn't on holidays in September. 
<laughs> well, they're all back at school now. I see, they're back at school, that's right. <laughs> they take a week off in September. So that's amazing. So what's the, the lady's name that's getting the money then? So Annette Curran is the winner. Where's she from, do you know? She's, I, I think she's from Letterkenny. All right, congratulations. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Brilliant. And what about this guy? He's giving away 10 grand. Well, wow. I'm not really. It's, it, it's the station's giving away the money, I know, you know. It just I know. happens to be during the time when I'm on air, like... What a day! Ten thousand. I know, but can we wow. still get tickets? Or how? Or can oh, you, you can. Yeah, you know, you can. From now, we're online. So highlandradio.com. You can buy the ticket there. Our lines, phone lines. If you need to ring in, give us about another ten minutes, and from after, just after nine o'clock, we'll take bookings on on from the phones. As I'd well. start ringing right now just to annoy people. <laughs> you <laughs> would. Oh, I would. Yeah. I'll ring you back. <laughs> <laughs> take that. Now, Greg, on a serious point, what time are you going to be doing the drug? Do you know? Uh, half say? 11, Sean. Half yeah, about half 11, 11 yeah, so during that's entertainment with Michael and Fanul, and I'm sure you'll come in uh, as well, Sean. That'd be a big party, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, hopefully now. Someone's going to win 10 grand. I mean, that's that's a fact. Do you know if I won 10 grand? I was seeing this on Secret Town the other day. I'd want it and say, uh, thanks, Fanul. 10 grand's lovely and be all super. It's, it's, could I have it in fivers, right? Because I would go, five. <laughs> Take as long as ever to count 10 grand out, wouldn't it? Be Because, you know what? But what would you do that? Oh, what would, oh, well, there's bills to pay for. I think I'd write down maybe the credit union loan or you could get a, a very nice bathroom or a kitchen for that. Ah, uh, no, you know? that's a luxury. Uh, the essentials, to pay the... Sorry, yeah, but luxuries you see you can never do. So, like, uh, I need to do my kitchen, but it's going to be the last thing that gets done after all the bills, isn't it? So Paint it. I would go on a holiday first and then think about the kitchen on holiday. Well, it seems well, you need yeah. to have to go on holiday to win a ticket. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and another holiday then. Another yeah. holiday. Be just great, wouldn't it? Oh, I love it. Right. But the lines will close about quarter past 11. That's your last chance. So get in early because the phones will be busy here this morning. They'll be buzzing. They will be buzzing. Uh, 10 grand's a big chunk of money. Be nice. Right, boys. Nice chatting to you. But I have to go because that Greg Hughes boy, he hates Sean. Who is he, he anyway? Oh, you wouldn't want to know him. I have to work with him. He's nice. Well, he's grand. <laughs> he has his good days and bad days, like everybody. Sean, yeah. thank you so much for coming Pleasure, in. Lee. And a better thank. What's his name again? That's just Greg Hughes. Oh, that? Oh, Greg. Yeah. Greg. Oh, Neve, thank you, by the way. He won't thank you. And for thanks, Neve. Yeah, he won't thank Neve. you, but I will. Thanks, Neve.